My name is Seal, and you're watching Rocker G on FNL. Here come the angels indeed for the annual Victoria's Secret Fashion Show right here in the Kodak Theater, Hollywood, California. Let's go check in on the pink carpet and find out what type of celebrities are going to be visiting with us this evening. And, of course, the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. Marcus, first, let me congratulate you on the Hall of Fame introduction. Thank you very much. Appreciate you, you it. You deserve it, and you had an amazing, amazing career. Thank you. So what brings you out tonight? Fashion show. And I wanted to see the performers, too. Uh, big night. Uh, the CEO, actually, of uh, uh, Victoria's Secret is a, a really good friend of mine, and uh, come out to support her. I told her she should be one of the angels when I interviewed her <laughs> earlier. She's beautiful, isn't she? Uh, Sharon is beautiful. There she is standing right. over here. You can't see her, but just take my word for it, though. She's gorgeous. I want to congratulate you first on the success of your show. Thank I think you. it's amazing. I think it's really cool. Cool. I was actually getting a tattoo in Vegas, and people were raving and ranting about it. They said oh, that, awesome. that you do the best and the most amazing pictorial yeah, tattoos. Yeah, people like portraits, like, you know, stuff like this, you know, like my dad. And, is that um, your father? Yeah, that's my dad when he graduated. Zoom in on that? Yeah. You can see, like, every strand of hair in his head. And I think um, with portraits, you know, like, um, people are inclined to get them because, you know, like, it's something they can relate to, whether it's somebody that they know or a family member or somebody they've lost or a hero or a celebrity. Like, you know, people want to wear it and rock it every day. So are you going to be getting some sexy clothes for free from Victoria's Secret? You got time to give you some clothes so you can put it on? <laughs> Probably. I mean, if, if they give it to me, it's cool. If not, I'm right. Um, so what advice would you give to people that might want to get involved in doing what you're doing? Um, you mean advice to people who want to be tattooers? I don't know, I say run while you can, <laughs> you know, I don't know, it's, it's a pretty tough road to go down, you know what I mean, it's pretty gnarly, but, you know, if you're born to do it, you're going to do it, so. Right. And is there anything that you're working on in the future that you can tell our audience about? Um, yeah, like right now, uh, we're, we're filming season two of LA Inc., so I'm really stoked on that. I'm putting together a tattoo slash music festival in February, so that's going to be fun. So Next time we get a tattoo, I'll have to come get it by you. Thank Bring you. Some. How are you guys doing? Wait, Duff and Susan? Very good. You know, any night out with my wife is great. Yeah, well, she's stunning. I see that she changed her hair color, and I know you prefer it darker, but I think she looks amazing both ways. Thanks. So, oh, so do I. I Aww. do prefer it darker, though. Both ways? Yeah. So what's happening with Velvet Revolver? Uh, we just got done touring. Uh, we did a six-month run. We've got a couple weeks off. We're going to uh, Australia. Um, then we're doing uh, Times Square New Year's, and I think the U.K. and end of January, and, you know, onward and onward. And how's everything going with you? Oh, thanks for asking. It's going fantastic. Um, I'm selling to Victoria's Secret, Susan Holmes Swim, and uh, working fastidiously again with Sports Illustrated and Marissa Miller, you know, who's modeling in the show tonight. So I'm especially going to be cheering Marissa on, and she always rocks it. And it's going to be a fun night with the music and the fashion. I thought I was going to actually see you in the show. You should be in the uh, show. I, know. <laughs> yeah. I used to be. I was a former uh, Victoria's Secret campaign model. So wow. that's really sweet of you to uh, <laughs> thank you. Everywhere. <laughs> You're stalking me. That's right. I'm her new stalker. I want to see. So what brings you to the Victoria? Well, what brings you here? Look. Well, you know, I left my boyfriend at home, and I guess you could imagine why. Um, <laughs> I'm just excited. I love all these girls. They're so hot. and. I don't know. Every girl has a fantasy of, I just, you know, would never fill out one of those wonder, wonder bras or water bras or whatever or they whatever are. Whatever they're called. Whatever I, they're I called. wouldn't either. But, you know, I've, just always, I've never been to a Victoria's Secret show, actually. Really? Yep. Hey, I've first time been. for me first as well. I'm for everything, and I'm really excited. I've always seen them from a distance, and I'm just happy to be here. Well, and I'm going to have to talk to the president and let them know that you need to be on that runway, Caroline. I see you on runways oh. all over the world, and now you need Not to be on Victoria's Victoria. Secret. I refuse to get a boob job. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to congratulate you for being the face of Maybelline. Congratulations on that. Thank you very much. I'm really happy to be with Maybelline. It's been eight years. I'm the first black woman they signed to a contract, and they are a great brand to work with. So thank you. So what are you anticipating to see at the Victoria's Secret show? I'm anticipating a lot of fun. Great fashion show, beautiful women, theatrics, music. It's like a rock and roll fashion show. I can't wait to see it. What advice would you give to all the models out there that are trying to follow in your footsteps? I would tell them to save their money, be true to who they are, and know that beauty doesn't always look like what they see on television, and that they're beautiful anyway. All right, we're here with Marissa Miller, California Angel, representing California. We're backstage 
right? right? Yes, yes. I'm representing the California girls, the All-American girls. And this is your first time walking on the Victoria's Secret Show, is that correct? Yeah, I've worked for the catalog for a few years now, but the, this is the first first year of doing the show. So you've made it. You're up I here. Think, Are you? Yeah, I can't believe it. And it all kind of became real when we did the rehearsal last night, and I actually got to like walk down the runway in my shoes and just see the Kodak Theater. It's just so amazing and over the top and I just I can't believe I'm here I'm so excited you have like butterflies in your stomach going around there and around. you're like oh yes. suppress it yes but you know we're so busy right now running around it's it's kind of good to be preoccupied and I'm sure like right before I walk out on stage I'm gonna freak <laughs> out <laughs> just look at the lights and forget anyone else is there and just do your thing walk exactly. down and come back pretend everybody's in their underwear too right <laughs> exactly <laughs> Do your quick sit-ups and push-ups and all that before you get on stage. Yeah, exactly. So what advice would you give to all the aspiring models out there? You know, there's all these different shows out there in reality, La La Land, yeah, that people yeah. want to do this and they want to do that. So right. you being an angel, it's, it's like the top of the industry, essentially. Yeah. So Yeah, I think it's really important to find, you know, a reputable agent, first of all, because there's definitely different sides to this business and a lot of misconceptions. Um, but if you're around the right people, then, you know, they'll take care of you, and that's really important. Well, good luck. A lot of scams out there. A lot of scams out there. Watch your back. Keep looking behind. Exactly. <laughs> well, good luck Thank and congratulations. You. Are you going to watch? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. All right. Scream I'll, really I'll, loud. Yeah, I'll scream and say, yeah, go, go, go. We're backstage with Linda Hay, the key makeup artist for the Victoria's Secret Show 2007. I want, hello, how are you doing? Very well. How are you? Excellent. I was reading your bio early, actually, right before I got it's pulled in. That's isn't it? Yeah, it is. You modeled, you did photography, you studied visual arts in Australia, right? Is that all accurate? Exactly. It is all accurate. Yeah, I did my homework. I'm a jack of all trades and, and, well, hopefully a master of at least one of them. So here I am. I wanted to talk to you about the makeup yeah. for this, for this uh, season, this collection that you're doing for Victoria's Secret. Yeah. Uh, well, the makeup for the, the runway today is going to be it's going to be very sophisticated, very smoky, very sexy, but still you know fresh and flirty and young. Um, I'm using this beautiful new palette from Victoria's Secret called Smitten, um, which is a collection of grays and chocolates, and then these beautiful highlights, uh, which is perfectly on trend for the season because we're going into fall and winter. And this, just, I mean, this works perfectly. And it works perfectly with the, the outfits today as well. Uh, they're all a little more sophisticated than they have been in recent years. So it's, it's, it's nice. What tips would you give to our viewers about the, like a projected trend for makeup? Projected trend? Well, you know, a smoky eye and a pale lip, I think, is just a classic that's never going to go away. And that's really what we're doing today. And even though it's on the runway and these are the Victoria's Secret Angels, it still translates very well to the woman in the street. Um, anybody can wear it, and you can wear it any time, any time of year. Uh, you love it, right? Yes. <laughs> Do you love it? Of course. <laughs> All right, thank anything, you so much. Anything Linda does, it's incredible, you know. So I'm, I'm just here laying, you know, closing my eyes and let her do her art on my face. I remember I used to model, and I guess she used to model. I was reading her yeah, bio, and you're modeling. My favorite thing was getting the makeup done and getting maybe the massage a little bit, and you relax and you fall asleep. Yeah, exactly. it's always a good relaxing time, you know. It's always nice before starting the show. It should be the calm before the storm, no? Right. Yes, it is. All right, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. So Sharon, you know, I walked in and I thought you were one of the angels. You are, let me first say you were stunning. Oh my goodness, thank you. You're making me blush. <laughs> Am I gonna see you on the runway? No, 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 I'm over the hill. I don't We're gonna tell Heidi to leave and you can replace her. Oh, well, I don't think I have her talent. I don't know, I'm not that tall, so I don't think I, but thank you, that's nice of you. Well, I had to say it because it's very true, very true. Now, about your line, I wanted to talk about the brand. I wanted to talk about the image. I mean, you, you've created essentially an empire, I would say, and, and, and at a time of turmoil with the country and things that are happening overseas, people look so forward to seeing this show with the presenters. I want you to tell me all about it. All right. You know what? It takes us about a year to, to put this show on. There's over 600 people that work on this show, and it's really actually putting together fashion, uh, entertainment, and supermodels. And so that whole... Uh, recipe is just phenomenal for a success and then when you bring in the entertainment like the Spice Girls and Seal it's really a terrific opportunity and it really helps us continue to build upon Victoria's Secret the brand we really start we're all about product we're all about lingerie and many people always ask me is this show for men or for women and Victoria's Secret is a company for women run by women 
So I think all of that contributes to the success of the fashion show and Victoria's Secret. Now, do you have the performers come give you a special private performance prior to booking them for the show? Uh, I wished. Yeah, they, see, Seal, Spice Girls, and, yeah. and Mr. West, they need to come to your home and give you a no, special performance. they don't. And you know, Justin, last year, he could have come over, but <laughs> right. no, we don't. Uh, obviously, we always look at somebody that's up and coming and what's happening. Uh, Seal has a new album coming out. Obviously, the Spice Girls and 10 years for the reunion. So it really is great. Last year, Justin had his new album coming out. So I think it's really great entertainment this year. And the Spice Girls are so excited. Plus, they're sexy. They're sophisticated. Right. Could, could you tell me about the bra? I was reading a little bit about uh, on the press release prior to interviewing you. There was a um, t tell me about the gift bra with the diamonds and the 4.5 million dollar bra. Can I have one? Oh, you know what? I don't think it would fit. Maybe try. You better put that on your list, and I'll tell Santa Claus that you want the 4.5 million dollar bra. Yeah, I'll have to. Okay. We'll get it right over to you. Right. <laughs> um, is the check in the mail? <laughs> yes. <laughs> We actually every year have a diamond encrusted bra, and this one is really great. It looks like peppermint candy. But because it's a little expensive, we actually knocked it off with Swarovski crystals, and you can actually buy a duplicate of that bra in the stores for $300. Wow. Yeah, so everybody can get a little bit of that, you know, dreams and fantasy. Absolutely. Does it come with matching underwear? Or? Of course it comes with Tell matching Tell us about underwear. that, too. That's right. So it's got candy canes. The underwear has it. has Swarovski crystals on it. So it's really pretty spectacular. So everybody can have a piece of the fashion show. And something else we're doing, we really worked hard on the outfit. So this year, we duplicated some of the outfits, and that will be in the stores for sale. In time for Christmas. Absolutely. And you can time. order online too. And everyone knows the website, right? It's like VictoriaSecret.com. Yes, everybody understands the website <laughs> at VictoriaSecret.com. So, and that business has really continued to grow. Uh, but it's really exciting evening. And you know, we always talk about the fun and the entertainment of it. But one of the things that this show also enables Victoria's Secret to do is to give back to the community. So we've raised over a million dollars this year in charitable contributions. Uh, so I think that's pretty great, great yeah. too. Th that is amazing. How can people contribute to that? If they go to the website, is there more information about that? Or are there specific charities that... What we do is we give tickets to the charities to actually auction off. And you know, our tickets go for $25,000. And so this gives and, and allows people to raise money for their charities. So that's terrific. The other thing that's new this year is that we got an award of excellence, the star on Hollywood Boulevard. Did you know that? Yes, the day before yesterday. Yes, that's the first time a brand has ever gotten a star. Well, I want to congratulate you on all of your success, and I hope that you have continuous success in the future. And I, from what, also, you started out with the doc, with the website aspect of the company, and then they brought you on as a CEO, so you're doing amazing for yourself in the company as well, right? Well, thank you so much. And anyway, you're so handsome. We're going to find you. Yeah. <laughs> a cute. I thought you were the angel. Why don't you be okay, my angel? I'll be your angel. <laughs> Nothing like a night of sexy lingerie right here in Hollywood, California for the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show, bringing out the Spice Girls, Seal, Duff from Velvet Revolver, his beautiful wife, Susan Holmes, and...